Hey everyone, welcome to the latest edition of Smart and Vinyl, where we're going to talk a little records, a little music, and a whole lot of meh. Um, I wouldn't consider these records meh though, surprisingly. Um, I am a child of the 80s, uh, despite liking a lot of stuff before that, but I am a child of the 80s, and I'm very proud to be a child of the 80s. You know, fuck baby boomers and their shit. It's all about the 80s. Um, so these records are very near and dear to me. I did not have them when I was a kid, um, but I have them now and that's all that matters. So we're going to talk about the California Raisins. And you're like, what? And I'm like, I know. Um, as you remember, California Raisins were everywhere in the late 80s. Um, you know, the concept was originally created in 1986 for the California Raisin Advisory Board. I didn't know there was, I just thought it was Sun Maid holding the raisins and she was like queen of the Raisin Valley, you know, but I guess not. Uh, there is a California Raisin Advisory Board. And um, for their first commercial, they did the I Heard It Through the Grapevine and it was a success and everyone got all raisin crazy. Um, so they're like, let's go with it. Um, Buddy Miles, a musician, was the voice of the raisin, the lead raisin. And they did do similar ones like with Ray Charles and Michael Jackson, although I don't believe it was really Michael Jackson or Ray Charles, but it was similar. But Buddy Miles really did do the voice of The Raisin. And uh, believe it or not, they released four studio albums, and I believe two singles. I know, I know. And their version of I Heard It Through the Grapevine w made it to like the Billboard 100, which it doesn't surprise me because I, I like all novelty songs, but I, I just... It's funny the things you remember when you're a kid versus an adult. Like, I don't I don't remember hearing that on the radio, but I listen to the radio all the time. I just remember the commercials. So um, we're going to do some California Raisin records. Um, I found this interesting, that a lot of the memorabilia or ephemera uh, for the raisins is in the Smithsonian. Because I guess it was just so interesting. It's like, okay, here's Archie Bunker's chair. Let's put these fucking raisins next to it. Like, I, I, I don't know. You know, maybe I'm still bitter. Because when I went to the Smithsonian, I went specifically to see Fonzie's jacket. And they didn't have it. They're like, oh, it was in the back. And I'm like, do you know I came all the way from California to see Fonzie's fucking jacket? I don't want to see no raisins. Okay. But anyways, sorry for the rant. But no, and they have tons of raisin memorabilia back then. Um, comic books. Posters, clothing, bed sheets, Halloween costumes, and raisins. You know, uh, what's, and at the time, you know, and now I see them when I go out to the swap meet, but they had those little raisin figures. And um, those I remember seeing everywhere then, and they're still, I find those very often at the swap meet. So I should just buy them and send them to the fucking Smithsonian and be done with it. But, anyways, um, no, it's really interesting. And, uh, you know, they did raisin, like, they're still like the official mascot of the Raisin Advisory Board. Um, and even Carl's Jr. slash Hardee's would use them for their raisin biscuits or whatever like that. And uh, up until 2001. So, I mean, Raisin Fever, Raisin Mania kind of died like in the early 90s, but not for Carl's Jr. and Hardee's. So anyways, um, let's show you. Now, this is a bad record collector on my part, but it's not in common. I thought I had three different Raisin records. Turns out I have two, but I have doubles, I know. But I'm glad I have doubles because this kind of proves my point. Now, uh, let me see. I have... The first one they did was uh, sing Raisin Sing the Hit Songs. So that's the one I have two of. And I believe this is the first one I bought. And what I find interesting, it says right here, I'll try to hold it. It says uh, lyric sheet and poster included. I don't think I paid four ninety nine for this, but um, you know, and it also it's covers because hit songs. So they have their I heard it through the grapevine, lean on me, stuff like that. La Bamba, so it's a little bit of Mexican raisins. Uh, that's pretty interesting, and Moni Moni, which I I would be kind of interested to to hear. Um, I don't recognize any of the musicians on here other than Buddy Miles, but I'll show you the back. But yeah, it does say poster and lyric sheet included, right? So when I opened it, I didn't see a lyric sheet. Um, plus it comes in this, the, the cheap shit plastic. It did have the poster though, which I will show you. It's pretty cool. Um, cool enough to hang over my bed next to Jason Priestley, maybe. Um, if, you, if you like some sexy raisins, but um, it's a pretty good sized poster. So that's pretty nice, you know. 
fuck the Smithsonian. I got my own raisins. Um, and then I ha also have it here. And uh, this one does not say lyric sheet and poster. This is also a promo too. But yeah, this one doesn't say lyric sheet and poster. But this had in it, it was the same shitty record. But it had this. I guess it's some little stand that you can put when you're listening to your records and eating your raisins, you're going to be like, oh, I guess. Uh, but this was in this one. So maybe because it was a promotional one, it got this, but it didn't get the poster. None of them have lyric sheets. But I guess you don't need a lyric sheet when you're singing fucking Lean On Me. Really? You know, okay. Um, so then I also have Sweet, Delicious, and Marvelous, which was the second record. Um, the first one was 1987. This one was 88. Um, and this one, although it's promotional, this had no goodies in it. I'm a little disappointed. Um, once again, Buddy Miles is on this. And uh, once again, it's covers. This one has uh, Dancing in the Street, Tracks of My Tears, Stop in the Name of Love, a remix of I Heard It Through the Grapevine, um, which is on my list of things I hate about music is 12-inch uh, extended play remixes, but I'll go into that another time. Um, so this one has a lot more raisins. They have the little raisinettes wah, wah, singing. So those are my records. I, I thought this video was going to be longer because I thought I had three records, but I don't. Um, I would listen to these before I'd listen to the, that Fonzie record with the covers uh, or the Laverne and Shirley with the covers. At least these are good covers. And, you know, singing raisins. You can't, you know, go wrong with that. You know, um, I do find it interesting that, you know, Fonzie's jacket and the raisins are in the Smithsonian. Maybe they should duet, you know, and do some shitty covers. So anyways, thanks for watching my video. Uh, please send me a message, share my video, subscribe, um, tell everyone about it. And I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, if you made it through this point of my video, um, let's give away one of these records. I don't need two, two raisin records, right? Um, although... Uh, which one do I give away? I don't know. I'll think about it. But maybe the next video I'll come up with something, some kind of whoever gets the most shares and likes, and you'll get a Raisin record. But I can't promise it'll have any of the promotional stuff because if you saw my dollar store record video, you know you're supposed to piece that shit together. So we'll see. But please, share my videos. Tell everyone. I really like making them. And I, I, give me some comments, questions, requests. If you want to make one with me, other than the cat and the Perrier, that's great. So anyways... I'll talk to you later. Keep on watching. Keep on eating raisins. And, you know, have a good day.